Hello and welcome to another 4.2 video with me, Mioni. This video is a quick look at how the new Glamour Plate and Glamour Dresser system works in Final Fantasy XIV. So the first thing to keep in mind is the original Glamour system is still here and is going nowhere. This system is an addition on top of that, completely optional, and is not directly changing that system at all. That out of the way as a disclaimer, let's see how it works. So you go to an inn room in any major city like this one in Gridania and you will find a glamour dresser, which is a physical room furnishing item which once clicked on will display the following menu after an awesome animation. Let's see that animation again. I love that so much. On the left we see the glamour dresser window itself and the stored items inside the actual dresser sorted by category such as main hand, off hand, etc. Now you can only store 200 items in total in this dresser, so you need to choose items to store that you really want included in it. Bear in mind that anything that you put in here cannot be removed without losing the original item. So once it's in here you have essentially committed it to an image and no longer a physical wearable piece of gear anymore. This is useful for certain glamour items with no stats on then, or things you are sure you will never need the real versions of ever again. Placing an item in here will take one glamour prism as a currency every time you do it. You want to put four items in, then it will take four glamour prisms total to put them in the dresser. However, the point is that once it's in there, you will no longer need to use a prism again to glamour it to a set. Let's say you love a set and never want to change it, but getting a new piece of gear is a pain because you have to go buy a prism and glamour it away. With a new system, you can press one button on the glamour plates and boom, you have the glamour applied instantly for free. This can only be done, however, in large city areas and you can't do this in the open world. Now, you can see I have zero glamour prisms. Now, I have the old kind in my inventory because it's earlier to the patch day. Before the patch, you had different types of prism available, such as woodwork, smithing, goldsmithing, etc. All of them were for different parts of gear. After the patch, you now just have one generic prism for all, simply called Glamour Prism. In order to exchange pre-existing prisms, find a Calamity Salvage NPC like this one here in the Aft Castle of Limsa Liminsa Upper Decks. Exchange them away and then return to your Glamour Dresser in your in-room. The next stage for this demonstration is to place items into it. Navigate the menus on the right and find pieces that you are sure you want in the dresser and put them in. There is a warning message that tells you again about the loss of gear as you do, so please read it before potentially throwing gear away you might want. Once we have some items on the left there in the actual dresser, we can now exit out of this menu and press C or bring up a character viewer. Once you click on this button here, Glamour Plate, which looks like two cards next to each other, you can see 10 tabs at the top of the screen. Each of these 10 tabs is a saved set of Glamour individually. To edit each plate, as they are called, click the slot and choose from the right side the new items you would like to Glamour to. If you are not a fan of using the actual item to turn it into glamour, you can use items that you've stored in the armoire as well, which will not lose the gear at all. However, the armoire, if you remember, does not allow all types of gear to be placed in it, so that's another restriction. If in doubt, use the old tried and tested glamour system instead, much less painful and less loss accidentally. However, let's make that new PvP set for this demonstration, so we just place that in the glamour dresser you saw. So click on each slot of this mannequin and choose the items. Once you are done and have dyed the items your way you want to by right clicking each set piece and choosing dye if you wish to, press save. You can then apply this glamour to your currently equipped set by pressing apply. Be warned, this will directly apply it to your currently equipped set and you will lose whatever image they have currently when you do this. This however will not consume a glamour prism, so essentially you could apply this or any saved plate to your equipped set if it meets the requirements. This doesn't get around class, job, race or gender restrictions however, so treat it like a free glamour system on top of the older one, which works much more manageably in my opinion, has much greater control options and is a lot less painful. 
It's all going to come down to preference which you prefer, and I think it's a good start to changing the system. However, the gear loss part in exchange for an item image, the storage limitations on size itself, all seems like parts that might detract me personally from using it perhaps as often as I would, especially with the amount of items which I obtain already that are used in glamour videos all the time on the channel. It's going to be really awkward. Anyway, let me know what you think about this edition, and throw me a like below if you think I deserve it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.